Joining me right now is the former assistant director of the FBI, James Kallstrom. And, Jim, it is always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank Come you on. so much for joining us. So what do you say about this FBI investigation? We get lots of drips and drips and drips. What do you think is the most damning stuff here? Well, you know, there's really never been a legitimate investigation from the very beginning because the Justice Department has not allowed a grand jury to be present. I mean, that's going way back on the, on the, you know, the emails. So uh, the Bureau has had, had to conduct, the agents have had to conduct, in my, in my opinion, a shell investigation without subpoenas, without warrants. So they have to beg for information. They have to plead. You know, and they, the department gave immunity to some of the co-conspirators in this thing. And they left all this evidence on the table of the Espionage Act, obstruction of justice, destruction of evidence, you know, perjury. I mean, on, onward and onward. So, you know, now, yeah, if they are investigating the Clinton Foundation, which I believe it deserves, yeah. you know, there's enough out there in the public domain to at least look at it. You know, here's the foundation that gives less than 6% of their money to, to charity, at least that's what, what is reported on their IRS returns. So, I mean, that's really not a charity. I mean, and you could just look at Haiti, what they did in Haiti after the earthquake, how they collected all this money and spent very little bit, little of it, if any, yeah. in Haiti. So, I mean, but you cannot investigate the Clinton Foundation without a grand jury. Incredible. You know, and I don't think we're going to see a grand jury until President Obama leaves office. So, nothing's really going to come out of this other than the, you know, the, the agents trying to collect information. I want to get back to that 6% in a second because that's really incredible. So I want to talk about that. But first, on the, on the Loretta Lynch and the politicizing of the FBI, which is probably, yeah, the most damning and, and, and terrible thing about yeah. this. And I know this hurts you because you have been at the, had been at the FBI for so long. The, the fact is, is Loretta Lynch is supposed to be the top cop in the country. But she's also a political appointee. Right. The president appointed her, so she's right. going to be loyal to him right. and stop down any investigations. That's right. what she's done. We, we've yeah. learned this now. I mean, that usually hasn't been a problem in the United States. I mean, a, a, in a few occasions it has been, if you look back. But it's totally politicized now. I mean, it's just, you know, it's sort of the, 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 the head of the Justice Department and her minions are, are really part of the Democratic uh, uh, National Committee. Right. I mean, they're acting that way. Just look at the stuff on WikiLeaks and, and see the connections and look at her going on that airplane. You know, she should really recuse herself from any further investigation. And so, and so should some of the people in the FBI, the deputy, deputy director that went and had lunch. McCabe. Lu yeah, McCabe that went and had lunch with the, you know. Podesta. Yeah, oh, no, with the, the, the governor of Virginia. Oh, right, McCall. You know, McCall, McCall absolutely. Terry McCall. You know, I mean, that's, right. I mean, it just sh shows awful, awful the judgment. But, uh, yeah, the politicization is out of control. And that's what's got the agents upset. You know, these headlines that it's, that it's Trumpville. It's not Trumpville. Yeah. People are frustrated with the fact that the rule of law is being cast to the curb. You know, due process is cast to the curb. So what do you think went on within the ranks of the FBI? I mean, it feels like some, obviously somebody's leaking uh, yeah. information out because they're angry that they feel that now they look like they've been politicized. Well, I, I the FBI it, uh, reportedly right. found new emails related to Hillary Clinton's State Department tenure on Anthony Weiner's laptop. Yes. I mean, that enough. I think Jim Comey came out with that. That's all we yeah. needed to know, that I, the emails yeah. were on Anthony Weiner's yeah. laptop. Yeah, I think Jim's had a, I don't know what you'd call it, but he's had, a, you know, some guidance, you know, on... Come to Jesus moment. Come to Jesus moment, yeah. Uh, that, that probably fits. Was it because his underlings were like, hey, Jim, you I know, can't I take think, this uh, anymore? I think not the uh, people, the uh, people that are around him. You know, I didn't even know who they are, but, uh, you know, typically they're people, yes, man, or there are a lot of people mixed in there. But I think the lower level the down... The rank and file. The really rank and file are just furious about the fact that they have not been able to do their job. It's not political. The FBI is never political. I've been, I've been there for 28 years. I never heard anything about politics or groups that supported this or that. That's BS. You know, it's like everybody else in the population. There's people there that, you know, keep that to themselves, however they... Pol but they're not doing things for political reasons. Well, there was they're so doing things to protect the people of the United States of America. That's what they're doing. And it's not the agent's fault. It's not the investigator's fault. It's the people that are at high level in both the Justice Department and the FBI. Well, one, one current agent apparently told the Guardian newspaper that the FBI is Trump land, that there are a lot of agents that are for Trump, and they weren't comfortable with the fact that they were being pressured not to do the investigation. 
Uh, well, and this know, is going I, on a year. I think what they're doing is they're looking at the so-called investigation that, that Director Comey announced in July. And they're looking at the stuff that wasn't even, was left on the table. Right. You know, the Espionage Act, you know, for instance, obstruction of justice, perjury, the violation of the Federal Records Act, conspiracy. I mean, this stuff's all on the table there. I mean, she had top secret special access programs, documents on her server. You know, Maria, back in World War II, they lined you up with a firing squad for that type of stuff. That is the most sensitive things in the United States. Yeah. And that involves, it could involve, I don't know what her, 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 her documents involve, could involve identities of uh, agents overseas. It could, uh, it could give battle plans. It could be all kinds of stuff right. that should not be in the public domain. Now, you know, probably Russia, China, Iran, they probably have all this stuff. And, and yeah, because Comey apparently said that there's 99% chance that f f at least, you know, five foreign governments or actors, state actors, hacked, of course. hacked her server. Of course. Yeah. I mean, they can, you know, a lot of these countries can get, can get by some uh, minor security, some minor algorithms. She's got this thing in the wide open.